I'm going to show you how to make a litter bag to study decomposition. First, choose the material that you want to use. Here I'm using window screen that you can buy in rolls from a hardware store. Cut a rectangle that is the width of your litter bag and twice as long. I want a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter bag, so here I'm cutting a 10 centimeter by 20 centimeter rectangle. Then when I fold the litter bag in half, I have my 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter bag. You'll want to make one rectangle for every litter bag that you plan to make. Here's all of the items that you need to sew together your litter bags. You need your rectangles, a pair of scissors, some yarn, and a yarn needle. To sew together your litter bag, start by cutting a length of yarn that's long enough to sew around three sides of your litter bag. A little extra never hurts. Thread it onto your yarn needle. and then fold one of your rectangles in half. You're gonna sew around the three edges that are not along the fold. I use a basic running stitch. You just want to make sure that your stitches are close enough together that none of the plant material falls out of the bag. Continue that running stitch all along the first edge. and you'll continue around the corner onto the second edge. But I'll stop here for a second to show you how tightly together your stitches need to be. When I put my fingers through, you see that they don't slip through any of the stitches. So you'll continue around the second and then just a little bit of the third corner until you have a finished bag that looks like this. There's a little bit of a gap on the third edge so you can fill your bag. Now we'll put the plant material into the litter bag. If you're going to track mass loss, you want to know the exact starting weight by using a scale. Here, I'm using three grams of plant litter. I placed a piece of paper on the scale and teared it, and I measured out three grams. I record the weight that I'm putting into the bag. Then I will put the plant material into the litter bag through the gap that we left open. You can either do that by picking up the plant material with your fingers, or you can use the paper to make a funnel to slide the plant material into the bag. If you're tracking mass loss, make sure that any bits that fall out get put back into the bag. Then re-thread your yarn needle and continue the running stitch to completely close the gap on the bag. End by putting a little knot so that it doesn't come unstitched. You can cut the loose end off of your yarn now, and then give the bag a little shake so that the plant material lays flat in the center of the litter bag. Add a tag if you need to keep track of which sample it is. I use aluminum tags that get attached like a twist tie. I then place the whole litter bag into a sandwich bag to protect it while I carry it out to the place where it will decompose. To place your bags out to decompose, you'll need your bags, a hammer, and some nails. Select the place where you would like the litter bag to go and remove any big rocks or anything in the way. And then you'll want to secure it to the ground so that it doesn't blow or wash away. You can do that just by putting nails right through the edges of the bag. One nail is enough. I like to use two when I put it outside in the desert where it might get washed away by a heavy rainstorm. And you just use the hammer to pound the nails in, place as many bags as you would like, and you are done.